Hello, JCSD families. My name is Gary Dawson. I'm the superintendent of the Juniata County School District. Over the last several months, the COVID-19 virus has continued to have its impact on our community and country. My sincere hope is this message finds all of you and your family healthy and safe. As the 2021 school year approaches, our reopening task force has been meeting on a regular basis to put in place a plan that provides a healthy learning environment for our children. In order to meet the very needs of our families, we have developed a plan that offers three options. I have asked our administrative team to join me today to explain how the options will be offered at the elementary and secondary levels. We'll be asking each family to consider their concerns and then select the best option that meets their family's needs. At the end of the video, you will be provided with two links. One of the links will be the written summary of the three options. The other will be for a survey. We are asking each family to complete the survey for each of their children, indicating which option they are choosing. We are asking that you complete this survey by August 1st. This will provide the school district with planning information for the upcoming year. As a reminder, the COVID situation is ever changing and we may have to make future adjustments. Thank you for watching the video and filling out the survey. Mr. Bennett will be up next. Hello everyone. My name is Aaron Bennett, the principal of Juniata Elementary School. I would like to talk about the first option that will be available to elementary students, which we'll be calling the traditional in-person option. This option will provide in-person instruction by our school district teachers following safety and social distancing guidelines. Students will have access to all of these supports that are available currently within the school district, including instructional specialists, gifted support teachers, school counselors, and the special education programs. Students will be following the current um, attendance and grading policies. So this option will be pretty close to normal um, school setting. Some of the things that we will be doing will be separating desks within the classroom to meet those social distancing guidelines. We will be limiting transitions within the school. Um, students will be put in grade level cohorts, homeroom cohorts. Grades K, one and two are already in self-contained classrooms. Grades three, four, and five will be in placed in um, grade level cohorts, homeroom cohorts, where the student, the teachers will transition and rotate between classrooms. Uh, we will be adjusting our lunch and recess schedules. So we do not have any overlapping of grade levels in the hallways and we'll be adjusting our hallway traffic as well um, to limit those transitions um, on a daily basis. So in summary, the option one traditional in-person option will be as close to normal as possible, but following those new safety and um, social distancing guidelines. Next up will be Mr. Mitchell to talk about our second option. Hi, my name is Clint Mitchell. I'm an elementary principal at East Juniata Elementary School, and I'm going to be discussing option two, our elementary hybrid remote program. Through this program, instruction will be provided through the Google Classroom. Assignments will be delivered by a JCSD teacher throughout the week. Students will have an opportunity to participate in some live sessions, some recorded sessions, and or videos that may cover instructional material in the same scope and sequence as those that are attending the traditional classroom. Unlike the spring, assignments will be graded and attendance will be determined by the student's participation. There will be opportunities for students to participate online with grade level peers. Musical lessons will be available through video conference. This option provides a safe option for those that are not ready to return, but plan to in the future. If there's a school closure, students will remain with their virtual class teacher. Next up, Mr. Fozzie. Hey, I'm Ben Fawzi, Principal of Juniata High School, talking about the traditional option at the secondary level. You know, the most important thing, you know, when we want to come back to school is we're going to have to wear, we're going to have to wear masks. Um, but more on that a little bit later. But when we come back to school, we're going to try to make it as normal as possible, but um, there are going to be some changes because we have to maintain some social distancing guidelines. So don't be surprised if we make you, um, you know, have to walk down, uh, hallways in certain directions, only use certain stairwells in certain directions, okay? As well as when your teacher asks you to sit uh, far apart, we need, we're gonna have to listen to that. that way we can uh, take our masks off when we're in the classroom. 
Um, also, you know, we may allow you to wear backpacks. That way we don't have to congregate in the locker room, okay? Uh, there's a lot of things that they're going to be a little bit different. And I need you to be ready to be flexible and change things. For example, we're not going to be able to sit all together in the cafeteria, okay, during lunchtime. We're going to be spreading out a little bit, okay? Um, you might be able to eat outside, all right, things like that. Um, the other thing is, you know, regarding the face mask. Everyone's going to get one of these, okay? Also, uh, we're going to issue everyone one of these, and uh, not ones like this, but cooler ones than this, all right? Um, but these disposable ones, you know, you're probably going to see these things almost like uh, the way you see boxes of, of tissues in the classroom. So in case you forget them, we're going we're gonna to have you covered, okay? But it's really important. You know, when we come back to school, we're gonna to have to wear the mask. And even if we don't agree with them, we don't like them, I personally don't like wearing them, but I'm gonna wear it out of respect for all the other staff and students that they wanna be protected, okay? Also, it's the, it's the mandate from the state. So if we uh, wanna keep our school open and be able to attend school, we're all gonna wear our masks, okay, when we can't do the social distancing. And believe me, as soon as we know we can be six feet apart, phew, they come off, okay? Now, if you, um, you know, if we don't follow those things, you know, the ultimate end result is we won't be able to come back to school, okay? So most importantly, we're gonna, we're gonna wear our masks, we're gonna come to school, things might be different in the classroom, you're gonna see some more Google Classroom type of stuff for, um, for the content delivery, even if you're in the building, because we gotta be ready, everybody's gotta be ready in case we close down, all right? So next, it's the hybrid option when we talk about if we're not coming to school, and that's Mrs. Geraldine. Hi, all. I am Wendy Geraldine, principal at East Juniata High School, and I'm here to talk about the hybrid remote um, education which is HRE. So when you see that from now on, that means hybrid remote education. This is going to look a lot like it did in April, what you had in April, but there are a few important differences. The two most important differences is one, we will be taking attendance every day, so it will be mandated that you are logged in in the morning to take your attendance and do your work. And two, we are also going to be grading all the assignments. So everything that gets sent to you, we will be grading. Um, this option may be a good option for you, for those of you who don't like masks, so you can stay in your own home and do these. Or if you need to be quarantined, um, this is an option where there's very little difference between what's going on in your actual classes in school and what you get assigned at home. So it'll be an easy transition if you start like this or if you have to be quarantined for a while and come back to brick and mortar, okay, you will be getting the same assignments as what your classmates will be getting. Teachers will also um, be having some Zoom question and answer if you need help with your assignments. And again, uh, this is, an easy transition and might be a good idea uh, if you need to be quarantined or you don't like to wear your masks. Next up would be Mrs. Strasser, who's going to talk about our virtual academy. Hi, everybody. My name is Kelly Strasser and I'm the assistant principal at Juniata High School. I'm going to briefly discuss option three in our plan, which is uh, what we call the Juniata County Virtual Academy, um, also called JCVA. In this program, we use what we call Odysseyware and it's available to all students in all the grade levels within our district. Kindergarten, first and second grades, they use what we call Spark and Odysseyware. All the other grade levels, third grade through 12, they use the regular Odysseyware program. Um, in this program, students get to work at their own pace. They also get supports from an administrator, an advisor, uh, a guidance counselor, whatever's needed within their own building. In this program, our own Juniata County School District teachers, they monitor the work and they're available to answer questions and provide help. This help could be through email or possibly video conferencing such as Zoom. Attendance is based on the completion of assignments and grades are based on the assignments, which include lessons, quizzes, tests, projects, and so forth. 
these grades appear on the report card and especially at the high school level, they count towards the class rank and the GPA. Students enrolled in the JCBA can participate in extracurricular activities within their respective buildings. So that's all I had to say. Um, next is Mr. McClay. Hi, I'm Mike McClay, Assistant Principal at East Juniata Elementary, and I also assist the district with special education. I will be addressing some issues related to special education in terms of our three options. Please know, regardless of the option that you and your family decide is best, we are committed to providing services to meet the needs of all students with special needs. Under the traditional model, there won't be any changes to student placement or IEP services. The specially designed instructions instruction will be provided as agreed upon from your child's last IEP team meeting. In either of the hybrid remote or JC virtual options, there will need to be a change in placement to the NORA and to the IEP document. Delivery of services will be agreed upon by each individual student IEP team. Know that you will be a part of those decisions. In both of these options, we do have the ability to modify and provide accommodations to the student's curriculum. Thank you. Hello, I'm Christy Lorman, the Assistant Superintendent. So you may be asking what you have to do now that we have the available options. We will be sharing a survey for everyone to complete. If you are planning to send your children to school in the traditional setting, you will not need to do anything outside of completing the survey. If you choose the hybrid model when completing the survey, an administrator from your building will be in contact with you. And if you choose G JCVA, an administrator from your building will be in contact with you to explain the process for transitioning to our virtual program. We thank you for your patience as we continue working to develop safe options for the school family. We will continue to adjust our plan as we receive additional guidance from the Department of Education and PDE. After the survey, survey results are compiled and reviewed, we will release an FAQ for any clarification you may need. And if you do have specific building questions, please reach out to your administrators. Thank you.